Hello everybody, welcome to our end of year assembly, a little bit different to the normal but it's the best we can do. Folks you always know at the end of the year we give out some certificates for just achievements and different little things during the year. So I'm just going to go through the certificates and who's got what. So the first certificate is for excellent effort and I'm giving it to David Gallagher. David just gets his head down, gets on with uh, his own work no matter what's going on around him um, and he's put a huge effort in to his schoolwork, especially in maths. So excellent effort, David Gallagher, well done. The next certificate I have is for Christina. Um, Christina is given, getting the Never Gives Up Award. Christina just keeps going, no matter how hard something is for her, whether it's just uh, schoolwork or things going on out in the yard, she really puts a huge effort in just to keep going. Well done, Christina. The next one is for excellent homework and it's going to Katie Free. Uh, every evening, every Friday evening when I collect up the homework copies, everything is done and done to perfection with good long answers. Katie, keep it up. Well done. The next certificate is for a history expert. We've got a few of them in the class, but um, I'm giving it to Owen McDonough. Uh, what Owen doesn't know about history, he will soon find out. He has loads of information and loads to tell us when we're doing history. So keep it up for next year, Owen. We have a lot more to learn. Uh, another one where a few people could have got it is for beautiful handwriting, but I'm giving it to Holly Barrett. The amount of time and effort that Holly puts in to present her work beautifully is unbelievable. And it's just gorgeous handwriting. Well done, Holly. You'll keep your secondary school teachers happy. Uh, folks, this is for a math magician. And again, a couple of candidates, but I think we have to give it to Honor in fifth class. Honor just eats up the maths book. Um, she just attempts everything and 99.9% .9 of the time it is usually right. Honor, great maths head, well done. The next one is for an amazing artist and again we have so many good artists in the class but I'm giving it to Justina. Her artwork is just beyond beautiful and she takes so much time and puts so much effort into every piece of art that she does. Well done Justina. Uh, my next award is a great improver and I'm giving it to a lady in fifth class who just keeps going with everything. She just wants to learn and she wants to improve all the time and she's certainly doing it and it's Shannon McAteer. Well done Shannon. The next one, again a couple of likely candidates for this one. It's the funny award uh, and I'm giving it to Tony Begley in fifth class. Tony, that hat is a permanent attachment at this stage, I think, but always full of humour, full of jokes, and more importantly, knows when to use it and when not. So the funny award goes to Tony. Next one, and again, I have a lot of people who could fit into this category, but I'm giving the fabulous friend award to Tegan McHugh. Tegan looks out for everybody in the class. She never wants to see anyone left out. And she always wants to help and she is a fabulous friend. Well done Tegan. The next one, great author. Um, uh, I should see good things in the future from this lady. Always writing poems, stories um, and they're always super. Tatum, well done. Keep up the writing. Now, super organised and I think this lady could be more organised than me. Um, her own desk is tidy to perfection and uh, when she's got a free moment she tidies other people's desks. So my super organised in her desk and her work and in all her little bits and pieces of um, stationery, super organised goes to Emma Begley. Well done Emma. Now, similar to uh, another chap in the class, our Keeps Us Laughing Award, and I think he's probably got it every year since he's been at school, but it's for Cody Thompson. And again, just a funny wee man, and I say learning when to use it and when not, but he puts a smile on my face every day, and I think everybody around him as well. So our Keep Us Laughing Award, Cody Thompson. Now, I definitely wouldn't win this one. It's the Computer Quiz Award. 
Um, I've had to adjust a little bit over the last couple of months to this, but um, definitely still wouldn't get it. So my computer whiz award uh, goes to Ryan Folan, usually my go-to man in the class if something's wrong with the whiteboard or the iPad and has such an interest in filming and making videos. He is getting our computer whiz. Well done, Ryan. Um, I have another Never Gives Up Award, and it's also a lady in sixth class, and it's Emer Thompson. Emer hated maths when she came into me. I don't think she minds it too much. She keeps trying with her schoolwork, athletics, football, just keeps going and so determined to get everything done and done right. So our Never Gives Up Award to Emer. Uh, the next award is for Classroom Helper. And I have to say, everybody is so helpful in the classroom. Um, but this award is going to Jack Kern. And he helps out with the, the food dudes and the green schools and the litter and the gardening. So Jack, keep up the good work as a classroom helper. Well done. Now, the next award, Super Listener. This lady in sick class. If I'm giving instructions or we're doing something, she knows exactly what's happening because she's listened all along. And that goes to Nicole Kern. Well done, Nicole. Uh, digital Leader, another lady who is a bit of a whiz uh, in technology, always making her own little videos and things and on standby to help me out. So our Digital Leader Award goes to Shimu. Well done, Shimu. Um, the next award is for excellent effort and this lady, lady in fifth class never stops trying. Everything she does, she does it to the best of her ability in her schoolwork, in her homework, out in the yard as a good friend. So an excellent effort award for Chloe Shields. Good woman, Chloe. The next one, great manners. This girl comes in in the morning, says good morning, says goodbye helps me out please and thank you in everything she does and the award for great manners is going to Cora Keeney. Well done Cora. I have another never gives up award and this time it's going to a lady in fifth class. Um, again a wee bit nervous coming in about the work and would she be able for it um, and everything else but she just keeps going keeps trying and always wants to learn and it's Leona McLaughlin. Well done Leona. Now, the next one, I wish I could give 24 of them, but I couldn't. It's for a speedy worker. But not only is this lady a speedy worker, what she does is done well. So the speedy worker award goes to Amy Patton, who just gets on with everything, gets it done quickly and gets it done well. Good woman, Amy. The next one is for another excellent effort. And again, it's another boy, and this time it's a boy in fifth class, who would doubt himself a little bit, but he just works so hard. And he is coming on so, so much. And he puts a huge effort into everything he does. Again, schoolwork, quizzes, sport, um, anything that I ask him to do, he puts a huge effort in. So well done, Declan Moran. Well done. Uh, the next award is for a super scientist. Now, this lady is always wanting to help out if we're doing science experiments. She seems to have a huge interest in, in nature and what's going on in the world love doing our work on the moon and the earth so our super scientist award goes to ebony hewitt well done ebony and um, folks just to finish off um full attendance this year unfortunately it was only 122 days but that's how many days we were at school before um the lockdown and i have two ladies one in fifth and one in sixth who didn't miss a single day of those 122 days so well done to holly barrett and I know she went out of her way to make sure she wouldn't miss any days this year. So well done, Holly. And also to Katie in fifth class, who didn't miss a single day either. Well done, folks. Um, now, these wee prizes, or these wee certificates, will be at school on Thursday. And also because we missed out on so many nice activities in the last term, there's a small gift for everybody at school on Thursday as well. So folks, hopefully see you, um, social distancing, of course, on Thursday at school. Thanks.